Good reason to smile. It is time for our pet of the week. Our good friend Susan joining us again from the Connecticut Humane Society. Susan, it is so great to see you. Even though it's virtual, we love you here in the morning show. Want to jump right in because you have a cat you were so excited to talk about. Bam. Tell us about Bam. Well, he has been here. It feels like forever because he has a special medical condition. Bam has diabetes. We did not know about that when he came to the Connecticut Humane Society. We actually found him outside in our parking lot. So we said, okay, this isn't all right. We need to bring him inside. Let's assess him medically and found out that he has this condition. You know, we've talked about before how these animals can get so many of the same things that people get. And so he's one example of that. So he's been with us for so long because his diabetes needed to get under control. And so that has taken months and months of testing with different levels of insulin, doing those insulin shots, seeing if those levels worked for him and how often. He's also on a special prescription diet to help keep everything under control. And he has finally stabilized with his diabetes. We are thrilled. Right. So Susan, people hear the word diabetes and a cat. Some might think it's overwhelming. Who's the right fit for this animal? And is it overwhelming or is it pretty manageable? It sounds like it is under control. It's absolutely manageable. You know, for people out there who've had a pet with diabetes, you know, it's a couple shots per day and just staying uh, in touch with your veterinarian if you have concerns, getting them checkups every so often and, and checking those levels and making sure you don't need to adjust that insulin or if everything's okay. The other thing that's important to remember about a cat with diabetes is that he needs to stay on his certain special diet. He can't be sneaking food from your plate if he jumps on the counter. He can't be sneaking uh, food from the bowl of another pet in the household. So if you don't have any other pets, perfect, no worries. If you have a pet who's also on a special diet and you know they have to eat at a certain time, and then you take that bowl away, then that'll work out too. But if you have a pet who likes to have their food out all day long, then you need to keep that food where Bam can't get it or just change the routine for that pet and not have the food out all day long. It's very important that he stays on his insulin and his special diet. All right.